Hey everyone, I'm Susan, and this is a new review from Mob.org. Let it roll! I think that the thing you see on your screen doesn't need an introduction. Nevertheless, we will still extend the courtesy. Well, Sonic, meet a viewer. A viewer meets Sonic. And the Blue Hedgehog has run to mobile platforms. Before talking about this very product, let's dive into the story and talk about this character in general and about the series of games dedicated to him. Sonic was born in 1990 when Sega Company ordered itself to create a new brand character in order to overthrow the old dusty idol Alex Kidd. The developers separated into groups and began brainstorming. There were dogs, rabbits, and other stuff among the contenders, and a myriad of representatives of an earthly, and not very earthly, fauna. But none of them could vie with the hedgehog, and a group that called itself Sonic Team got the victory. This was a way for the guys from Sega to try and fight their way to wide expanses of high circulation. I'd like to remind you that back in those days, the other giant, Nintendo Company, had their plumber and princess's rescuer, the great and terrible mushroom eater Mario. This way, to get out of the barrel of mud and have a gulp of some fresh air, Sega needed a symbol. And Sonic has become the symbol. Absolutely every game that was made in those days seems to have been made by a generator of random words in random sequence. And we got what we got. That's true. Let's think for a second and try to find logics in the game. The blue human-like hedgehog, who can run with a supersonic speed, collects rings and... Well, actually it was even worse sometimes. Take for example the epic creation of a dim intellect that is called Cheetah Man. Okay, I digress from the subject. The game we are going to talk about today first saw light in 1991. And as there were no smartphones then, it appeared on the Sega Genesis console, which is more known under the stupid name Sega Mega Drive. With the course of time, new games about the Blue Hedgehog appeared. The character acquired its own fan house and quite official comics and films on the game. Gradually, the character itself was changing. He has become taller and slimmer, and maybe even grown up a little. And now, after about 23 years from the birth of Sonic, it's time to revisit him again. I think you know that this time has one feature. The damned humanity has completely lost the fantasy. Countless remakes and prequels are the trend of our time. It may happen because the grass used to be greener and the sky higher in the past. But it is likely because of the fact that the brains of established developers have become very lazy. Why should one invent something new when it is much easier to remake the old thing and resell it? And it is very sad, at least in my opinion, which I consider to be the only true one. These are the double standards. It is quite difficult to find an original console, and the things with the operating cartridges are even worse. And everyone wants to remember the old times. That is why a release of the very first Sonic the Hedgehog on mobile platforms is a very good thing. I don't think I need to explain the game to you, as I strongly doubt that anybody doesn't know what happens in the Sonic game. But as we have a game review here, and not a game history lesson, I should say a couple of words about what Sonic the Hedgehog is. First, it is a really recognizable and well-known character. Second, the dynamics and speed. The levels are very fast-paced, and you feel a real euphoria when running with the crazy speed that Sonic can reach. As for the new version that I'm talking about today, you may happen to think that it is a simple port. For example, I have an emulator of the original game from Sega and Dendi on my computer, and this very Sonic is not a port. It is a game, fully transferred to the new engine. It is natural that the port has advantages over the original, and is so to say more adapted for the requirements of modern equipment. First, widescreen resolution is supported. This makes sense, taking into consideration the fact that we deal with this kind of image. Second, the frame rate. Refresh rate of 60 frames per second is supported. So your mom will not have a reason to tell you that you'll ruin your eyesight, as she used to say about 15 to 20 years ago. 
Third, some interesting features are added. For example, in the menu you can choose time trial mode. Personally speaking, I have never chosen it. Actually, I hate when timers are ticking during the game. Nevertheless, you do have that option. And a system of achievements is included. And now you can brag about your speed and number of collected rings to your friends. In short, I recommend the game for old fans to have something to feel nostalgic about and new fans to have their own piece of happiness. This is all for today. If you liked the review, subscribe to the channel, put likes, and share with the friends. This was Susan and reviews from mob.org. See you!